Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac, this is Sayyid Mahmoud Amiri and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this uh, ice cubes effect with this condensation over this uh, you know, Pepsi bottle so uh, um, yeah this is a very simple example so if you want to get the project files for this of course you can go to my Patreon page and what it includes is this uh, scene here, the 3ds Max scene an ice texture, the textures, and then you have some bonus textures for different brands of this uh, beverage. So you have Coca-Cola, you have Pepsi, you have Mountain Dew, and all that stuff. So you can get it on a Patreon. And in the meantime, if you want to go and uh, create the scene, it's very simple. So this is the example scene that I'm going to be showing you guys. And the actual scene is uh, here. So if I open this up, uh, you know, it's got some some things here so uh, if I go to clay mode you'll see that I have this so a couple of different things that I did differently that I'm gonna show you guys do differently in this setup probably a lot more easier but then if you wanna get this exact project file and this exact render you can definitely go and check out my patreon so I'm gonna go reset and if you don't have a Pepsi can model don't worry you can go to free3d.com and you can search for Pepsi and you get this model for free and you have it here but it doesn't have any textures so if you find the textures you can go ahead and get it from my Patreon page alright so I'll go uh, and definitely you can find a Pepsi texture online as well so you don't have to necessarily go there but if you want to support me you're more than welcome okay so I'll go to 3D Studio Max and I'm just gonna create like a dummy object for the can so we don't have to sort of import a model so just like that hit shift J right click convert it to edible poly we'll select this one and select this one I'll just give it some bevel the good old days that I was modeling is over so I'll just select this ring here and I'll connect just move it up just like that and we'll select this connect and move it here. You can skip this part if you want. So just create some insets here so we don't have the thing. So now I'm going to add a turbo smooth modifier and this is our model. So it's our dummy model you can later replace it. So I'm just going to hit E and rotate it like 90 degrees just like that. Scale it up a little bit and for the ice cubes to contain somewhere we need to create a cube so a box sorry we'll create a box it's like this big enough so this is your simulation area right so you you want it to be sort of in the middle of the uh, your dummy object and that's because we want some the ice pieces to be surrounding the scan so what I'm gonna do is right click convert it to edible poly hit 4 delete this and this is very important to add a shell operator here otherwise the pieces won't sort of collide with this and what I'm gonna do is just right click on this object properties displays box and turn off renderable so we don't want it to be renderable and we don't want to see it visually in the scene so now on to the tie flow part so I'm gonna create my tie flow just like here and what I'm gonna do and if I'm going a little fast and you're not like so familiar with Typeflow, what you can do is go to my YouTube channel, FX Maniac. I have a tutorial called Typeflow for Absolute Beginners, which you can check out. And I cover a lot of the basic stuff there, and then you, you have a lot of other Typeflow tutorials that you can check out. So you can definitely go there. Uh, so it's very simple. I'm going to right click. And go to preset flow simple physics flow so it's here and you can see that some boxes are falling down to the ground so what I'm going to do is scale this up just like that we want to go to the birth and set it to 0 to 4 frames and you want a total of 500 particles so now you'll see that the particles are sort of going wild and colliding with each other so I'm just gonna scale them up because we don't want them to sort of collide when they're born and now you see that we have here but they're not colliding with the box and the can so what I'm going to do 
is hit tab and add a physics uh, physics collision not the regular collision the physics collision so I'll put it down here pick this object and pick the box but the problem here is the box is sort of it thinks of it as a closed box so I'm going to select the box here and instead of convex I'm going to set it to mesh so now it'll be correct so now we have the ice cube sort of colliding with our dummy object and if I go to like clay mode so that's basically it we don't have like a ground floor so I'll right control right click and create a plane here and scale it up just like that and you want to replace these models with a chamfer cube so I'm gonna go into extended primitives I'll add a chamfer box and select cube drag it up here and just give it some like flay like this much and I definitely want to make it smaller so what you're gonna do is go into the shape so for the shape I'm gonna put it down here and I'll remove this and I'll pick the cube and say add selected or you can just like delete this and add a sorry if I hit control Z you see that it's there right sometimes it doesn't work so you just have to like reset and stuff so definitely want to make this uh, smaller like 30 so now the particles are sort of there but they're not colliding and stuff so what you're gonna do sometimes this this little bug is here so you just go and move this down here the physics shape and the physics collision and that way they will sort of be working properly and if some of them go out of the frame it doesn't matter because you know the camera angle is this much anyway so you won't be seeing a lot of those but if you want to increase the number of particles you definitely can so you can go to like 900 and now we will be having a lot more particles so I think the shape is a little the icon is a little smaller so I'll just increase this and now you'll have a lot more and the particles that are out of the frame it doesn't matter so just like here hit uh, control C for the uh, to create a new camera so this is basically our eye setup so just like that and now for the condensation and if you want to have a detailed tutorial on condensation I have a Typhlo condensation static and animated both versions are available so you can go check it out for a more detailed version but in this case we're gonna be creating a very simple one so I'll create new and I'll right click uh, not right click just drag the birth operator set it to 0 to 0 hit tab add a position object operator and pick this and now I'll add a shape hit tab by the way to bring up the search and just going to select the 3d to be the shape to be 3d and it should be geosphere low res go to display and set it to geometry and if I increase this to like what 2000 or even like 20,000 you see that we have this weird sort of effect which we don't want so what I can do in order to prevent the particles from intersecting each other I'll add hit tab add a fuse operator so the fuse operator is here so you can decrease the value to see the particles sort of being close to each other but you see that they're having this really nice sort of uh, uh, distance that uh, you know avoids the particles from colliding and intersecting with each other so the fuse operator is definitely useful for that and I'm going to turn on the scale and increase this a little bit I'll definitely give it some variation to like 60 percent or even 70 percent and just like that and we want some smaller pieces as well just like here you see we have different levels so what I'm going to do is I'll go to my 3D Studio Max. I'll just copy this and paste it over, and I'll set this to even like what 40,000 particles. But we want the shape to be very small, uh, like 80 or 70, and then we can just go to the fuse and just bring it down even more. 
So now you see we have like a lot of particles, but they're not sort of intersecting with with each other, so it looks pretty cool. And now for the lighting part, I'm actually going to go back to my original setup, so I'll go to ice cubes. For the lighting and materials, it's actually pretty simple. So this is our original scene here. If I go down here, so for the lighting, I have three lights uh, from this side, from the top, and from the left. So the left one is a little bit blue, the right one is a bit red, and the top one is a very, uh, you know, sort of not so bright light with a white color. And I have the can here, so everything is pretty much the same. And for the materials, uh, the ice material is actually this one. So I have uh, very less reflection and 0.98 for the glossiness and 0.8 for the glossiness of the refraction and the value is full white. So that's what, what's given me this sort of ice look. Uh, you can definitely use uh, this texture as a refraction map on the glossiness which will give you some cool results but in this case I didn't use it. So the other materials this is the water preset for the condensation bubbles that I've used, the second type flow. And that's basically it. So this is a very simple setup which you can use for your products. It can be different drinks, it can be different objects. And yeah, so this was a very simple effect and type flow doesn't always have to be like complex and complicated setups. Uh, sometimes a simple setup like this can look cool. And yeah, so this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to support me and create more awesome content, you can definitely go and join my Patreon page. So this was the today's video. Till the next one, enjoy working.